Thank you, Your Holiness. Now, Artigan, as to your concerns... The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized Kaer Bronach in Crestwood. Our goal was to keep more Ferelden citizens from dying, not to seize power. Your help was appreciated two years ago, Inquisitor. Now order has been restored, yet you remain. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. Now the Inquisition is doing the same thing with Grey Wardens in their ranks. Your concern is ill-founded. The Grey Wardens have proven their worth time and again. Of course Orle tolerates this interference. The Inquisition is the only reason Selene still has the throne. Rest assured, Tegan, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well-intentioned mistakes of a young organization. An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Sister Leliana asked to speak with you in private. Something has come up. I'll be back. What? This is highly irregular. Are we not even worth the Inquisitor's time? Inquisitor, I thought you would want to see this. A canary warrior in full armor. How did he get into the Winter Palace? So, what would the left hand of the Divine see when she looked at this? This is a warrior, not a spy. Part of the Antam, the canary military. Most of his wounds come from a fight against someone using magic, but at least a few are from a blade. He was badly hurt, separated from his allies, and made it here before he died. But how? Would the Iron Bull know anything about this? I asked, and he is as surprised as we are. Since becoming Talvashoth, he has had no contact with his people. He seems frustrated at not knowing more. <laughs> Deadly mysteries at the Winter Palace. Throw in a Hulla statue and some Caprice coins, and it's just like old times. Can Josephine manage the diplomats while I look around? She will be fine. It's all speeches and posturing for the first few days anyway. I will ask Divine Victoria to call a recess for now. I will also have our friends ready themselves for battle if need be. You think that's likely? I think the Exalted Council may be more exciting than we expected. like he came down over the railing. Refreshments across the plaza, if you care to leave. Those Tereldans, always afraid to think. Watch your
Crossroads. Morrigan brought me here while showing me the Alluvians. Judging by the bloodstains, he tried to get through here. What's wrong? That one doesn't like you? This mirror doesn't look broken, but it's inactive. Maybe there's a way to unlock it.
Blood trail leads to this mirror. Right. Let's see where this guy came from. Elven ruins. I'm not sure we're even in Orlais anymore. Another Kunari, dressed like the one in the Winter Palace. He's Karashok, a foot soldier. Must have been in the same squad. Oh, this is gonna be fun. The old team together again to kick some ass. How about it, Katan? Ah, we're doing the names, are we? It's a title of honor, Kadan. I need a drink. Do you want your Amatus to cheer you up? I could do some of those flexes you like. Scorch marks everywhere. This is the work of a mage. A powerful one. I can still feel the heat crackling. We need to find out why these Kunari were here and who did this to them. Kunari. If we want to know why they're here, we've got to get across to that island. I think I know what to say. Ah, Milana de Thavarin. Rivas, Vir Anaris. Ame Lathalas. That worked. I think. Fire. It claimed this was a refuge for elven slaves. This whole valley was a sanctuary created by the dreadwolf Fenharel. Fenharel? The Dalish elves' god of misfortune?
Sky, a beautiful view, and yes, fields and fields of stripweed as far as the eye can see. You bring your handkerchief? I'm not uh, allergic. You always say that, and a half hour later, you're taking mine. Amatus, can you not fuss like an old? <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Cuts all over the back. He was killed by surprise. This can't have happened too long ago. The blood's not even dry. Ben Harel helping former slaves as a mortal, not a god. He took great pains to renounce his supposed divinity. Ben Harel sounds like quite the rebel. The old elven gods must have simply loved that. the elven gods were just Evaneris, powerful, but completely mortal mages. Was this the start of an uprising? Freed elven slaves against their former masters? If that's... Ah! Are you hurt? I'm not sure. It stopped at least. That alluvian only took us a short distance. That's the same lake we saw from the other tower. Good for moving around the city. 
visiting friends, deploying guards. A letter by the Kunari. Why are they translating it into our language? These Kunari were running when they died. Let's find where this battle began. Looks like it fits into that pedestal by the broken bridge. Basha! The Inquisition doesn't leave alive.
those Kunari attack the Inquisition on sight? No idea. They weren't Talvashoth, though. This might be a rogue group, but they think they're following the Cune. markings from a Dalish elf. But these ruins are older than the Dalish. Maybe the markings used to have a different meaning. weapons. These freed slaves actually fought back against the Evanuris posing as gods. Interesting word, Evanuris. If all it means is mage leader, well, they were basically magisters. explains why the Kunari came here before we go.
It's been too long since we've traveled together. I've missed it. A note about an unknown intruder coming through an alluvian. They turned spirits against us, then fled. It must be a mage. They killed any Kunari in the way and let the spirits do the rest. Two parties then. The Kunari and a mystery agent determined to stop them. Come on, we have to warn people about the Kunari's designs on the Winter Palace. One dead canary was bad enough. Now we have more, and they're hostile. This makes no sense. The canary may not be friendly to the Inquisition, but they have no reason to attack us. They also have no reason to be here, or using Illuvians at all. I've had the mirror placed under guard for now. It appears the relative peace and quiet of the last two years is coming to an end. First the Blight, then Mages and Templars, then Corythius, and now this. Can't we go ten years without the world falling to pieces? We must ensure that the Kunari do not disrupt the negotiations. The Exalted Council is in a very delicate state. I'm certain you can soothe the nobles' ruffled feathers while we solve the real problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone present by walking out in the middle of the talks. Our only advantage is that Orlais and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. Be that as it may, the Kunari must be our top priority. We can worry about the politics later. My apologies. I will attend to the Exalted Council. And while Josie does that, we will investigate. I'll head back to the crossroads. We need to find out what the Kunari are doing and why they attacked. And I'll have a quiet word with our honor guard. I'm glad to see you safe after venturing into the crossroads. I do not have to tell you to be careful, my love, but... Tell me, these strange spaces past the Alluvians, are they safe to explore? We're taking every precaution we can, Josephine. I will take your word for it. And yet, you've accomplished so much in the calm of these past years. I wish you did not have to imperil yourself for us. Again. I won't take unnecessary risks. I have someone far too important to come back to. And she will be happy for your return. Be safe, my lady. Please. I will do what I can here. Once the Canary are dealt with, brace yourself. The Council is just as relentless. I wish I hadn't burned all my contacts with the Ben Hasrath. Be nice to have some idea what they're doing right now. Yeah, but then you'd be on their side, Chief. Yes, but I'd know things. I like knowing things. I'll talk to you later. 
Anytime, boss. Hello, and shh. I'm trying to figure out why everyone is acting so weird. I mean, besides because Canary assassins and everything. You see it, right? There's something going with the elf servants. Makes sense after that ruin, right? When you start going on about elves, it's hard to tell if it's about them or you. Yes, yes, you're ever so clever, ass. Point is, the servants have no complaints, no asking for a Jenny. They serve this lot, but don't want them done for anything. So the nobles are nice and the servants are happy? Two things that have never been true. Mark that I said it. We're fighting Canari, but something else is on the up. I suppose you've a lot to say about that elven ruin, about the creators. They're not even demons, just big magey knobs punching down. And yes, the shits who use them to make me feel broken can still eat it. But always waiting for that fight is way too much work. It's like doing half the hurt for them. Maybe we're old now, but I'm tired of it. We've new fights to look forward to. We always do, seems like. We'll talk later. Count on seeing you, yeah? His friend had to die because he thought they were people. A slow arrow breaks in the sad wolf's jaws. She killed the girl to save herself. She thinks about the eyes going black. It is good to see you, my friend. What do you think of the Exalted Council? They are frightened of your power, and there is no longer a hole in the sky to remind them that it was needed. It's just talk, isn't it? What could they actually do? Individually, very little. As a united front, you do not have that much power, Inquisitor. Even so, I would wait and see where this leads. Karma heads may yet prevail. When has that ever been the case? I'm an optimist. Just ask Varric. I'll see you later. Farewell. Need me for anything? Until later. Take care. Everything going all right so far? We'll talk more another time. I'll be here if you need me. Inquisitor, is there something I can help with? Tell me about your nugs. Did you get any new ones? Oh, yes. A litter was born just a month ago. We are weaning them right now. If you are hoping for one, I'm afraid they're already spoken for. Your nug breeding sounds like more than just a hobby now. It has certainly expanded. And who knows, if the Inquisition ends, there are worse things to do with my time. I find being with the little ones soothing. Perhaps later, Leliana. I'll be right here if you need anything. Darling, what can I do for you?
I can't believe it's been so long. Around two years. That's it? Two years? Sweet, merciful maker, it felt like ten. That could have been all the wine. Only thing back home I really missed. Things are going well with the bull, I take it? He's happy I've returned, if that's what you mean. You nearly crushed three of my ribs with that ridiculous hug. You say that as if you didn't like it. Such a great beast, he's a terrible sap. I want to talk about my feelings, Dorian. Ugh. <laughs> you do like it. Why, you? He'll over here. And then where will I be? Another time. I look forward to it.